One thing you always should check when you get a new motor is check the distance between your magneto and the magnet, the center magnet electro. Mine was a, had a massive gap up here and it was touching on the bottom. This thing would have never started. Now that I got it corrected, I've already checked everything else and I greased the uh, clutch bearings with a little bit of wheel bearing, automotive wheel, high temperature automotive wheel bearing grease. Duh. And uh, I took off the uh, cheap 410 chain and put on my uh, heavy duty. Forty-one MP roller chain, which has got twice the amount of strength. The bicycle chain, all these uh, China chains. There you go. 41 MP roller. This thing's twice the size, and it's got bigger links and. You can see the difference. One's actually bigger, than, wider than the other. Just a hair more, but the pins are bigger and they're stronger. And it uh, doesn't stretch as easy and it doesn't snap as easy. I don't use a master link. I pop the pin back through and press it. Duh. It's, it saves you quite a bit of time from busting chains and throwing and having them melt down. And, this is what you have to use to break a roller chain. It's one way you can actually break it, otherwise you'll be fighting all day to get a pop of link out of it. And uh, those. I found my old LED light. It's only got one strip though. But uh, <laughs> that is to get on here. But, uh, yeah, you guys, when you are putting one building in for the first time, check everything over. Check your uh, chain gear drive. Make sure it's nice and tight. I And then check your uh, magneto. Make sure you have the proper distance for the gap. You can see I still got to correct it. It's not too bad, though. And then check your clutch. And then also check the uh, cam gear screw because it will back out. It's notorious for backing out. I... Always check them pretty arcly. I take them out and I use a blue lock tight. This is a pounding press set. It uh, punch. It basically says Phillips and flathead. You smack it with the hammer and it forces it to cr create the screw tighter. So that's what I use on my cam gear screw. I don't have to ever worry about it coming loose. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. One more day, one more day, and I'll get the uh, race pipe put on. Stay tuned.